are you, man? So I won't take too much of that. What I want to do is uh, go and check uh, a kiosk right quick. Yeah. Uh, the new one, at least, to give you an idea of what, what we're trying to do. Okay. What's the future? And then we can come back here and, uh, okay. and, cool. and, and break it down a little bit uh, yeah. to give you some explanation of what we're trying. You have some time? Yeah, at least an hour to yeah. 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 Let's walk by it. Okay. So let me show you the uh, hmm? So this is what we have So this is the, the Rodman section. This is for the kids. In Rodman. So you can see we, we have data right now of, uh, of uh, digital sales. Uh, what else do we have? So uh, but we have uh, so we can set up the fees, the credit fees, and all for the, the centralized point. And uh, so we want to make this dashboard much more intricate, basically. That's the business So uh, you know, it, it has to be also something that can be printed, that can, we can print. And that's I think just a general idea. So we can really know where we need to improve, what we need to do better, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. That's the area we really need uh, help. So let, let, me, let me summarize to not make it confusing for, for you guys. The monitoring for the that's what we need an app that will allow uh, our, our, we call this field operator, field on the ground. So the field operators, and I'll send you the list, when he goes, he goes visit agent. And uh, he has criteria he, he has to check on. Check on if they are beautiful. Check on if the kiosk is clean. Check on uh, what, what else? Yeah. 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 So the field if, the, if the agent is using the application to sell services, there will be a lot of things. Yeah, so the monitoring should tell him, okay, what are the services sold, what are the services in sale, and all those things. And he has, quite, he has marks. Is he wearing his uniform? Check. If he, is he the one working today? Check. If the kiosk is clean? Check. And those who are yes or no will dictate his rating. Every input will have an impact on in his rating. Um, also, if he's, uh, what is, is his credit rating? Is he pay? Is he late? And even if he's late, we can click and see which credit was late, for how long, and all those things. All that he should have access to on his on his app. It should, I mean, I'm thinking, maybe you guys in the future can decide the detail, but I'm thinking of scrolling on it. Because I want everything in one thing. I don't want to go to, you know, because I want to make it simple. Because the people who are also low in the So it has to be something simple to understand, uh, uh, simple to manage. And all this data that he's inputting, also is, it's fed on our backend software. And then from there, we have a credit system. We have a credit, I mean, not credit, we have a, a whole rating, a total rating of that particular agent. And I want agents to be break down on three groups. Very good, good, and bad. We can call it different ways. We can come up with a, a scenario, very good is they have a credit rating from X to X, uh, X to Y. And good is, is this to this. And then bad is this to that. So, so we want to make sure that we fix the bad quicker than we do now. Because to find out, for us to find out who's bad, we have to go through a hell of a, a lot of manual shit to, to figure it out. You know, we even want to have on the Wi-Fi where customers can complain on the network. And that will also be said. Or his credit, his or her credit. Uh, and that's something we haven't uh, added. But basically, that, that rating, so it's two ratings. One is the credit rating, specifically for the credit they, 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 they get. And the other is an overall rating for all the, the aspects of the business. What is their overall rating? We want to be able to plug as much data to this overall rating. 
as we grow as a company. So it has to be a dynamic solution in a way. Uh, where if you want to add an additional data, uh, then you can, you know, to plug in and, and decide what that has that rating. So we need to come up with an algorithm that will decide what that rating is. And then that algorithm should be easy, easy to, well, not easy, but we can uh, change it as we add additional data. Do you guys do sensor technology? Uh, yeah. IoT, Internet yeah. of Things also? Yeah. Interesting. Then uh, again, I mean, that, that could be so something I mean, the projects that we worked on was actually with the uh, random mountain team. The what? Random mountain team. Ah, the mountain team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we worked in partnership with uh, Imarasat. Imarasat, you know Imarasat? No. Okay, it's a satellite company. So we yeah, know yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So what we did, we actually deployed sensors at the factory uh -huh. and we were able to monitor the entire chain, the entire production chain over a random okay. Because now, the thing is they you, they would get like fluctuating prices uh -huh. on the market. Yeah, so yeah. Sometimes they get a higher price, sometimes they get a lower price. Okay. But they weren't aware of what conditions are within the factory okay. to be able to know what gives them the optimal or the high price at the end. So yeah. we help them give them that vision to see that we've got a higher price on this day and these were the conditions that we're operating in within we don't want to do one set that's not the reason and come back and work on the set it's just not the way let me give you a link one of the issues we need was only one of the things that we were talking about there is for example motion sensor we want to know on average how many people because one of the issues again of all those things is to solve problems you've seen mm -hmm. one of the problems we've seen is sometimes they tell you they're working but they're not working you know, so we don't know if it's true or not. We don't know, uh, like I said, we don't know what's happening on the ground, especially in the remote area. This guy we go visit, that's cool. We're in four or five hours from here. We don't know what the hell is going on. So sometimes they tell you, and we have policies now, if you don't work for two days without noticing, that's automatic termination. So motion sensor will tell us there's people around. So we know there's some activity. Of course, sales tell you one thing, but it could be selling from a different location mm -hmm. from the kiosk. Yeah. So we try to, because we want to make sure that they operate where the kiosk is, we try to find ways to minimize all those issues. Motion sensor is one thing, GPS sensor. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they move location without telling mm -hmm. We need to know uh, that also. And then for that issue, mm -hmm. the kiosk is not stolen, we want to make sure you can track it. Same thing. So uh, that's another sensor we want to. Uh, the, 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 the other sensor is charging sensor. Right now we don't know how many phones we charge. Even though we don't make any money on the charging, that's their money. Yeah. But we want to have that data. We want to know because if it's not charging the phone, we know there's a problem also. Mm -hmm. So we want to also collect. So and, uh, and temperature sensor, that's mostly for the system when you overheat. You know, uh, those are the sensors that we felt that we need. Of course, as you mentioned, uh, there may be other maintenance sensors that we don't know about. That could be very interesting to look into. Um, uh, that, that could be something. So the, the, the company uh, is from Kenya. Is, he's also uh, IoTs this field. Uh, but it, that could be something that uh, we can discuss and merge and, and, and see what, in what capacity you guys can bring some value to, to this developer. Like I said, we have a huge, huge work to be done. Man. A lot of work, but right now, what, what, <laughs> what I want to share is um, so, so the ticketing system is one of the things. The other um, system we need is inventory. So, we have a lot of components to this kiosk that we want to keep track of. Uh, so, when the components break down, we have to replace it, take it out of the inventory so that we can track also make sure that things are still set. Asset management? Yeah, yeah, asset management of all the components. We, have, we don't have a lot of components that needs to be stored, but electronic components, um, stuff that we replace and all. So when we bring goods, we want to make sure we enter them, all the components, so we can keep track. Because right now, I have no tracking system. So the shit can be disappearing after one. Again, I want to control the digital yeah. Those are the three areas. And then, of course, machine learning. Uh, I'll, I'll need to know base. Um, NASA, you have access. Well, we'll, we'll We'll, we'll do that later, but um, the machine learning business intelligence 
I would like you guys to tell us in what capacity should we incorporate that. Now, I know we need it. I know someday that we need to make sense. But since you guys are, are, are the expert on that, we need to get some input from you guys of how to best incorporate these things. Um, and then accounting uh, aspect. But that's later on. That's not a priority right now, but that's later on. Uh, so those are the key areas I would like to start to work on uh, with our system, and then see how it goes. And on that work, I would like to see Green Valley and Mouse Tool. We're going to finish it, because uh, we pay for Mouse Tool, which is a win-win situation for all of us. So we don't pay for the whole system. So if you're not happy in one Mouse Tool, then we know we can separate it throughout. The other things I forgot to mention is documentation. When the system is done, I need documentation, written documentation, uh, with graphic uh, on the documentation. Mm -hmm. uh, what the system does, uh, how they will able to see the uh, the language, and all. If whoever comes later, there's any issues, then you just want to pass it on. So documentation is as important as the development. Uh, you know, in whatever sense it is, because we also do training to our partners. So that documentation will be used for our training. We can tell them, okay, this is how the system working on these things. Of course, documentation comes after everything is done. Uh, but the proposal from you guys will tell me if we're on the same direction or not. And that would be the first step. So, enough of me talking. I don't know if you have any questions. I'm just going to introduce the Yeah, yeah, so, so I was taking so much time. Wait, it's been a lot of chicken, honestly. No, I know, I know. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Trust me. Yeah. So we understand uh, yeah. this is our website also, we have a lot of information on that. Again, like I said, our vision is to make a smart, the smartest system, the smartest own kiosk in the market. It's really about our ultimate goal of this. Where somebody can come and license this technology and operate in the country with minimal cost of operation costs on the ground. So he can plug in those systems and control them from. And in the future, another thing that I forget, uh, that's not really essential, it's a kill switch. So if, if an agent goes wrong, which we've had in the past, and out of control and all that, we won't be able to remotely shut it down the whole system, where it can operate anything. And then we, we can uh, find a way to recover. So that's another thing we, we, we plan it. We have an added in the system. Because, and, and uh, again, all this part of the business has to be done by the end of the year. So, uh, if you guys are interested to do this project, I'll need to know as fast as possible. Because we have three call, three call of proposals. We put it out. Actually, they're all the same. I'm sure you know that Benson is uh, the answer. Um, thank you. Uh, and uh, uh, me, I, I'm, I'm very transparent about a lot of things. What I'm looking for is the guy that understands what we're trying to accomplish and come up with a proposal that makes sense for us. Uh, business sense, technical sense, and all those things. Uh, so that's really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for guys that really want to solve our problems, not just want to do a development or get a I mean, I understand that's part of the business, but I'm really looking for a long term relationship. That's what I look for. In everything I do. Because um, this is a, a long term project, this is a long term company, we're going to scale up. Uh, so we know we're going to add adding stuff, feature, removing some feature, we know our technology is moving so fast that you know, can't control what's going on now, but give that a solution tomorrow. So this is what we're looking for. And so I like to outsource as much as possible. Uh, and that's what I was telling you, you know, what's your goal? Yeah. Is, it is it business yes, or is it, you know, yeah. because we are also planning to recruit a, a CTO to oversee all these things. Because right now I have to do oversee and it's just too time to uh, But that's what I'm looking for. I need to make a decision um, before the end of next month. Since April is almost done. And, and, and to get started. So that's up to you guys to decide if you're interested. If you're not, that's fine. You just tell me anyone, you know, you don't have the capacity or that's not something you got. But if you are, the first thing I'll need is a detailed 
that proposal of, of pretty much uh, the way you see how we should move forward. What should be the first step, second step, third steps, and all those things. And then usually a proposal takes two weeks back and forth. So we have a conversation, discussion, questions, uh, questions. And then when we sign, when I sign on on that, and then we develop it. And the way I work is when, if you base on the milestone, that price on the milestone, we do 50% of, of uh, deposit for that milestone, not for the whole project, for that milestone, and then 50% of the milestone. And then next thing, next milestone, same deposit. Third and then, you know, that's how we This is an opportunity for all of us. It's an opportunity for you guys to work in the new, in the new spectrum of challenges. Um, again, this is, this is a unique challenge because when there is no distribution system, we have a small distribution system. So this is a new space. So it's, it's also some skill sets that you guys can, uh, can learn for the future. Because I can tell you, the social impact business is going to the future. That's not that. Not just for us, but NGOs are moving to us. So this is a huge opportunity and uh, impact, data impact actually, is the future also. A lot of uh, our business is to measure our impact, which is also something we can talk about in the future. So we collected a lot of data for our impact, where uh, you know, we can tell how many women we have, how many people live with uh, people in their family, because the income they generate also impact their immediate family. You know, we can tell the income uh, revenue based on traditional income revenue. That's a huge data. And this is where the world is moving because data impact is a huge. We want to know what kind of impact the social businesses have, which in the past was not really uh, the case. But now, companies, organizations are demanding those, those type of data. Um, and that's something we also incorporate. So there's a lot of layer to this business. There's a lot of layer on the technical side. Um, so, but yeah, and I, I think for, for this particular meeting, we'll give you at least some type of uh, global idea. And then I'll wait for you. Hopefully by the end of this week, I'll wait for you to, to, to hear from you guys. And then we can decide what this, what's the next thing. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay, but yeah, please. You have uh, anything you need, please. Well, this was a wonderful thing. I like that. You, you need to, you know, give you an idea of what uh, how the thing works. This business is uh, is a challenge. Just because uh, one thing I want to deal with humans. We, we spend our time with babies. That's yeah. really what it is. Yeah. You know when you babies, you give them an opportunity, they come begging for the opportunities. And, then, and not all of them, I don't like to generalize, but it's a portion of them. As soon as they get the opportunity, they get comfortable. And when they get comfortable, they start fucking up. And then you have to be behind. And the quicker you fix that problem, that's what you do, right? The quicker, because they don't just pollute your business, they pollute the customers. Which is what we've seen also. That's why we have developed a very strict training program. Uh, and we want to be able to solve problems as quickly as possible. And so we need that data program. When there's issues, we want to solve before customers get paid. Because one thing about low income people, they're tough customers. They're very difficult customers because they're so used to not have consistent quality service. So when they, 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 they have a problem with you, it's very difficult to change it. Because and, and, and words goes really fast in the yeah. yeah. And they don't care if the agent if you associate with that agent, yeah. your brand will yeah. 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 So that's also one of the solutions is having because we want to execute on the problem the same day as possible. If we see something is not right, we want to act on it immediately. But to do that we need we need a, the right way to get, I mean, we need an easy way to access that information, a simple way to waste like that information. And we want to even create alerts. So if it's a bad, bad agent based on their, um, the algorithm and the rating system we develop, 
boom, the system tells us alert. Alert, this guy is not doing this, this, this. Alert, this guy is doing boom. Because when you get X amount, 100, 200, it's still, we don't want to go into also the rating system. We want the system to feed us that information. You know, material. Hey, something wrong with this part of the business with that guy. So it has to be a very, very dynamic and smart system. And when we accomplish that goal, then we can show up. That's really what I need to solve it for us here. Because the key of distribution is monitoring. You know, you can put thousands of kiosks. If you don't have a good monitoring, you will see kiosks not working, guys not performing, this and that. But when you have a very strong monitoring program, the numbers don't, really, don't it's not important now. You have now you have efficiency. So you can have a small amount of uh, kiosks, but they generate a lot of money because you have a strong monitor program. You're on top of it. Yeah. See, the way Asian business is built right now is built on numbers. They don't monitor this guy, so they put as many people as possible, hoping that the percentage will do well. We want to change that. We want to have an efficient, so we, want to, we don't want to uh, build a lot of kiosks. We just want to have enough kiosks in key areas and monitor them really well. So the, 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 the revenue per kiosk is top notch because we monitor it. If we drop, then we see it, we replace it. You know, we, we find somebody better to operate. So it's not number, it's quality. It's not quantity, it's quality, basically. That's what we build. Exactly. Absolutely. We want to be the best and most efficient distribution of digital services in Africa. That's ultimately our goal. You know, and to do that, you have to have a very strong monitoring and to monitor your data. You can't monitor something if you don't have the data to monitor it. Well, I appreciate it for your time. Are there any questions? Yeah, yeah. 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 Please, don't make me wait too long. Thank you. Thank you.